Smartphone screens are getting bigger by the day, but they still can't compete with good quality LED TVs now, can they? If you're tired of squinting at your phone every time you're watching a movie, wouldn't it be more convenient to watch it on a big screen? Well, you can, but getting it onto your big screen isn't always the straightforward process now, is it? There's heaps of options all the time, and getting the right one for you might get a little tricky every now and then. But don't fret, that's where we come in. I'm Vampire Spark DNS Proxy, and today we'll show you five ways to mirror your Android screen or iPhone screen onto your big, gigantic, huge television. Have a smartphone and a simple TV with only HDMI port? Well, spend a few dollars on streaming devices like Chromecast, Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, and they'll help you mirror your phone screen to the bigger screen. Almost all streaming devices now give you the option of mirroring your smartphone screen onto your TV. However, I personally would recommend you Chromecast if you want to mirror your Android screen onto your TV. Simply insert the Chromecast to the HDMI port and set it up. Once done, scroll down to the notification bar and select One Touch Cast button there. There's no lag and you can even use it to play games on the bigger screen. While Amazon Fire TV is not as good as Chromecast, but when it comes to streaming, it still works. You can reach the mirroring option by pressing and holding down the home button on the Amazon Fire Stick remote. Rest of the jewel remains the same as long as both the devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Apparently the third generation Fire Stick no longer supports this feature. Roku 2017 and the newer models support screen mirroring as well. To enable mirroring on your Roku, go to Home, Settings, System and then Screen Mirroring and select your preferred way of connection. Apple TV has one of the most simplest methods of connecting a smartphone to a TV. But it comes with a limitation because it only connects with an iPhone. That sucks. You can simply click on the mirroring icon in the control bar by swiping up from the bottom of the screen and click on Apple TV's name. And it's not just that, you can even record your Apple TV screen with your MacBook. Something to keep in mind as no other media streaming device offers screen recording. Overall, when it comes to mirroring screen from a smartphone to a TV, Chromecast is just killing it. While Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV are good options if you already have them. Well, what if you don't want to carry around the next dongle all the time? Well, that's where smart TVs come in. Most smart TVs nowadays come equipped with a mirror cast, which lets you mirror your Android screen onto your TV without the need for an extra hardware. For instance, we have this LG Smart TV with us that supports Miracast. Like Chromecast, Miracast also uses peer-to-peer -peer connection, meaning the mirroring can be done securely without an internet connection. Miracast hardware also supports HD and 4K streaming. We were able to play games and HD videos without any issues, even though the connection is wireless. There's absolutely no lag. And yes, for all those who are wondering, Miracast transmits both audio and video. But here's my favorite thing about Miracast technology though. Unlike Chromecast, which mostly works for smartphones, Miracast on the other hand also supports Windows laptop and the connection is as smooth as hot knife and a butter. Overall, if you're looking for a long-term business solution, Miracast makes for a great convenience with video conferencing, slideshows and product demos. While for home users, it's a great way to watch high definition videos. But on the flip side, we don't really recommend getting a smart TV just to mirror your Android screen or iPhone screen onto the TV. There's much more efficient and cheaper ways to do that. For example, say, if you only use it like once in a while, it makes no sense to buy an expensive smart TV. Now it doesn't. Instead, if you have a computer handy, you can use it as a bridge. Simply connect your Windows computer to your television using an HDMI cable and set it up to be used as an external monitor. This way, everything that you see on your laptop will be cast to your TV. Now, all you need to do is mirror your Android screen to your computer. There are many apps that do that, though we recommend using Android app. Simply install Android on your smartphone, connect it to your computer using your web browser. Next, when you click on the screenshot button, you can see that it'll start casting your Android to your laptop, which further casts it to your television. Now you can close the lid on your computer screen and cast your Android screen to your TV. Though it's much more of a hack than an actual workaround, let's be honest. It does work, but it's not a practical solution. A better solution is to get a cheap Miracast dongle from Amazon. There's many local brands that use the same Miracast wireless display technology that we saw before in a smart TV. However, they can work for both Android and iOS. One thing to keep in mind though, some apps 
don't support screen mirroring while using Miracast standard. While the screen mirroring is really good with no lag and all, it costs about $15 to $20 for a Miracast, while Chromecast only costs about $35 and you get plenty more features with it. Makes sense to buy a Chromecast if you ask me. Wouldn't it be awesome if you can somehow mirror your Android screen or iPhone screen for dirt cheap? Well, that's where MHL Cable comes in. In fact, that's the whole reason we made this video in the first place. We bought these cables from a local store for less than $5 and they support screen mirroring right out of the box, yet not many people know about it. To connect an Android device to a TV, simply insert the HDMI end or the HDMI port of your TV and power on the USB as well. Next, insert the other micro USB end to the Android phone and that's it, it'll start casting right out of the gate. To connect iPhone to your TV, you could get a similar cable with the lightning connector to it. Although, we had to add our television as a trusted device for it to work. Like all other methods, there's no lag and you can cast audio as well, making it perfect for business or even home use. The only downside is, MHL requires an MHL compatible device, so before you go ahead and buy it, make sure your device is supported by MHL. In our experience, most Samsung and iPhones support them. So yeah, there's plenty of ways to mirror your smartphone onto your TV, as we saw in this video. Most cases, streaming devices are the best choice, especially Chromecast. But if you're looking for something permanent, smart TVs would be your go-to. And if you're looking for something really dirt cheap, MHL is the way to go. That being said, check out Smart DNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, or even Amazon Prime Video. There's a fucking new trial, give it a go, see how you like it, and it's only like $5 a day from there. A month. I'm sorry. As always, I'm Vandrian Smart Genius Proxy, and thanks for watching.